sideways. Oh. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for jumping on with us Saturday night. 9 uh, 06 here in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, Jamie's uh, just come back home. She's been uh, gone. She's been at a hotel for four days, four nights. And she's been over there working on new songs and uh, focusing on her uh, her writing. And I've been here um, doing the same. And uh, uh, I'm so glad she's back. And I want to play and sing. And uh, you know, we're, we're ready to play. So uh, she's got some new stuff. I got some new stuff. Let's go. Let's try it. This one's not new, but I figure while people are jumping on, we should play something uh, that we know. Uh, and uh, welcome. Across the blustery sky South of Highway 7 All alone I'm crying Oh so I sold you away When you sell your soul It opens a deep dark hole when you sell your soul, it opens a deep dark hole. Drink will leave you thirsty, fire will leave you cold, oh so I sold you. soul, I sold you away, oh my soul, I sold you away, oh my soul, I sold you away, oh soul, I sold you away. Started with desires, sweet soft kiss, Lord. Started with desires, sweet soft kiss. It ended in an alley with my face against the fist. Oh, so I sold you. singing oh my soul I sold you away oh my soul I sold you away oh my soul I sold you away oh so soul I sold you Oh, soul, 
I sold you away And I'm singing Oh my soul I sold you away Oh my soul I sold you away Oh my soul I sold you away I'm pulling into Greenwood, gonna get down on my knees. Pulling into Greenwood, gonna get down on my knees. By Robert Johnson's grave, pray my soul back to me. Oh, soul, I sold you. Someone was asking for our friends on YouTube. I'll throw up the tip jar for you, Dan. Thanks for asking. Thanks, Dan. That's so sweet. Um, I really appreciate that. Or Daniel, I'm sorry, Daniel. Um, you know, Mary, when you're playing that song, I just had this like slideshow of memories like going on in my head. Um, like when I, I remember like when I was listening to that song a lot when I was driving around Austin. I remember where I was living. I didn't know I, you yet. No, you didn't know me yet. Um, I love that record so much, as you know, I've said it many times, but I remember having this moment where I listened to it over and over again, and then I was like on YouTube, and I like saw this version of you and Ben Glover playing it live, and uh, we together. That, that was in Dublin, Ireland. When y'all are just sitting in that little room together? Little, it was a green room, yeah. We had oh, a, it was a green room? Oh, that's a so sweet. A couple of hours before the show in Dublin, 
and uh, we didn't really want to go back to the hotel because Dublin traffic is is such a beast. Oh, really? We had to drive to the hotel, and to, so to drive to the hotel and back would have taken the time to just, we could just stay in the green room uh, and play songs, and we decided to uh, to use um, the time and, and make a little video of that oh, song. Wow, that's cool. And so, the lighting worked out, oh, right? Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm glad you knew what video I was talking about. Um, yeah. But it's funny, I was having that like memory flash through my head, and then I remembered there was a time when you and the, you must have been on the road somewhere in the UK, and it was like right at the beginning or the end of another tour that Gretchen Peters had, and Ben was with her or something. So like all the, all of y'all were together in the UK, and y'all did did this live version of that, which was really That's great. Right. And I remember when we were, we were at Americana, and we just like rushed the stage without permission when Ben was playing it for the Americana UK party and we which is like for you guys that don't know normally during this time this week we would be at the Americana festival in Nashville where a bunch of songwriters and artists get together with people in the industry and we listen to music and discover new artists and just have a blast with our friends from all over the world who come to Nashville for a week to hang out and play songs so I was remembering that moment at that party at the proper records party oh, it was so it, loud because the uh, it's so loud yeah the room that uh, the record company hired to do the showcases was made of glass it's so loud and so it's still a fun party it echoed really loud and it was really loud in there and the people were talking in the back so the stage got louder and the talking got louder and the stage got louder and the talking got louder and by the time we rushed the stage it was just scream it into the mic it was a it was blow it up and be done with it kind of moment, but it was fun. It was really fun. Yeah, I remember that. And I remember all these moments like when we Nilsson were... was playing drums. Yes, yeah. exactly. And Nil Josh was playing. Yeah, and... Nilsson Hubbard, who produced my Trouble in Love record, which that song comes off of, yeah. And then I was remembering, I guess it was two summers ago, maybe when we were with Eliza. It was you, me, and Eliza, and we were in New Mexico. And we're singing that song, and Eliza does that really cool, awesome, low harmony she thing that she does. She is such a great harmony singer. Oh, I mean, yes. I miss her. I love, oh. Okay. I miss everybody. I miss Don't y'all miss everybody? I miss everybody. I miss playing that with Gretchen and Barry. And, yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone. This is, here we are, Saturday night, 9 o'clock, in the office. But you know what? This is awesome because we can still play and sing and people are with us even though we can't see you, we feel you. Well, it seems like there are a lot of people in Oregon on the stream. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you guys. Sending so much love to Oregon. Oh. So much love to to uh, the western United States as the fires uh, threaten so many people's homes and lives and property. Uh, sending huge love oh. and lots of prayers uh, west tonight and... Uh, thinking about you so much and watching with trepidation as this thing uh, mm -hmm. is uh, expanding instead of contracting. We're with you. We, we send love. Absolutely. Please. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm gonna move this now. Um, uh, very new little setup, but waiting to evacuate, wow. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh man. I was thinking about this. I did. I went to this, you know, to a hotel for a few nights to write, and um, and I took with me all of my all of the things I thought I might want when I, you know, for writing. I brought a little keyboard, like a tiny keyboard, and um, all of these books that I have, like these notebooks that have had, you know, been filled with songs or ideas and um, that kind of thing. And um, I was really excited when I found this song in one of these books. I have this. Maybe maybe when you play something, I'll go grab it and show everyone. It's like uh, I got it right. Is no. it an old notebook that you've had a long time? or? Well, I almost want to get it, go get it and show it to you. It's not super old, but I got it after I got in a car wreck in 2016, and I was having a, I had a concussion, I had a lot, a, a traumatic brain injury, and I was having, a, especially at that time, a lot of trouble with my memory. And so I wrote on this, um, I wrote, you know, this machine, uh, you know, in, you know, uh, well, I have, to, I have to remember. Actually, see, that's a great example. I can't remember what I wrote on it. It's the, it's the Pete Seeger quote, not the Woody Guthrie quote. Um, yeah, forces, it's a longer it's one. It's a longer one. Yeah, Surrounds yeah. hate. It forces it to surrender. And Thank forces you. it to surrender. Like, what did I write? But on the back, I wrote like this. This is this book is filled with ideas. Some good, some not. But it's also just filled with things I want to remember because I my can't brain remember work so good. Shit. So if I left this somewhere, <laughs> send it to you know. It's like I can't. Yeah. So there's like packing lists from different you know, t tours I've been on and little song ideas, but I found this song in there and the pieces in which it came, like part interlingua, part in 
New Mexico, and I found it as I was writing in Canyon, Texas, outside of Amarillo, and you can see that it's pretty obvious that I'm writing it as I'm driving because it's just like... That's dangerous. It's dangerous, and I don't recommend it, um, but you can see like how crazy it is, but it was cool. dictate it into... Well, so this is my process. I also have a nice book that once a song is completely finished, it goes into that book. That is completely a dodge from writing while you're driving. Yeah. Nice try, Harris. Have you ever done that? Written when I was driving? Yeah. Of course. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Tonight the moon is colored black Oh, the smoker's teeth I know it sounds crazy But it almost seems in reach Kind of like you Kind of like
that song. Thank you. Thanks for letting us know about the volume. I wonder if we, this is, is this usually? Let's try this. That was crazy. <laughs> We're doing this on my laptop because the other computer is, this yeah. is whatever. This is so fun though. <laughs> um, thank you for asking. That song is not, uh, you can't find it anywhere. I have not recorded it. Um, but thank you for asking. Yeah, it's a new song. The songs we're going to play from here forward aren't on records yet. They're new. Uh, and uh, um, so, you know, we're testing them out on you. We're seeing how they're going to land. And also, we uh, are feeling our way through and making sure they're done. Here's one I wrote. I'm going on, oh, well, I guess uh, almost four years ago. I wrote this after the 2016... Um. <laughs> election <laughs> and um, uh, I didn't know how to write about how I felt and so uh, I had to work around a lot of things and eventually ended up with a little story song about traveling and uh, I think it, it said what I needed to say at the time and it goes like this Ready? A truck stop drunk Shouts the national anthem At a waitress Pouring coffee with trembling hands And the TV screen On the wall is screaming Make America Great again An old man Facing hands we In a booth in the back alone, and a child says, Daddy, why is he crying? And her father grabs her hand. And says we going home and life it show sure gets lonesome love is hard to find It's lost in the telling in a world that's turned unkind.
winter sun set slowly on Salina. The Kansas wind blows bitter, mean, and cold. I pay my bill, grab my keys and jacket. Then I steal myself and get back on the road. And life, it sure gets long, son. It's in there. <laughs> Love is hard. Truth gets lost in the telling, in the world turn In a world turned unkind. Yay. That holds up all right. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's better than I thought it was. Yeah, it's fun. We haven't played that in a long time. Yeah, no. It's, uh... I was having the same thought. I was like, oh, that. That's not so bad. It's not so bad, no. Yeah. What you got first? Uh, I think we play this song now. Uh, thinking about that subject and about Eliza and everything, my brain's doing the like, it's like playing movies today. <laughs> it's like out of my control. Um, but I just, uh, some of you might know, I know Suzanne knows who's out there. Hi, Suzanne. Good to see you. Um, but I started this little folk and roll fan club. I call what I do folk and roll because it's a little bit rock and roll, a little bit folk, and um, which is on Patreon. And so it's a way to get songs that have maybe been recorded but haven't been released or songs that maybe I really love but won't end up on records for whatever reason. And um, there's one song on the page now, and it's this song, um, which I recorded live with a band in Austin. So and this I'll, song is going to be on your Patreon page? It is already on the Patreon page. Oh, okay, so, so we'll you, post that after you. I would yeah, post yeah. it now, but I don't know how to do I'll that. I'll teach you shit. if you want. you got to go into the banners, but no, we'll do it some other time. Where? Show me. So see where it says banners underneath? Oh, I'm using a mouse. That's oh, yeah. the wrong computer. <laughs> That's really confusing. Right, yeah. So go there, and then see where it says Patreon? It's the one right above there. That's your book. This? Yeah, and you just click on it. Check it out. I did something right. You did it. I'm so proud. And you made, Mary made unbelievable red beans and rice tonight. Yeah, we had Cajun stuff, right? Took a bunch of the okra. Our okra is still creating okra in the back. So um, a bunch of okra and I drizzled it with olive oil and sea salt and black pepper and uh, roasted it real high on 450 and it became like okra french fries. It was real good. And I made red beans and rice with andouille sausage. That's so good. It was really good. and. Uh, we had uh, cheese rolls, because why not have two white things on the plate? Rice and rolls. <laughs> We're back. I think, the la <laughs> I think the last time we went live, I was talking about fried rice. So I just want to say we don't eat rice every day. Well, we it's had just... rice tonight, but not a lot of rice, more red no, beans. No, it was more red beans, And for we sure. uh, roasted up that, uh, we broiled the sausage so it's crispy. It was, I like sausage oh sometimes when it's real soft in red beans and rice, but I also like it crispy. Oh, it was perfect. I broiled it till the ends uh, got really um, uh, nice and black on the ends and then put it in the red beans and cooked it for another 10, 15 minutes. It was delicious. Yeah, I used to be so I used to be a chef before I retired. All my chef coats. When I quit the restaurant, did you know I gave away all my chef coats? No. I did not even save one. I was so done. 
And that was 20 years ago, and I haven't missed a chef coat for a millisecond. Is that like a big deal? Is it an expensive item, or is it like Well, it had my earn? name on it, and, you know, you wear it with pride in the kitchen, and you put your apron around it, and you feel like, uh, I don't know, Jacques Pampin. You feel, you feel like... <gasps> Wait, Kim, what was that again? <laughs> Jacques, Jacques Pepin. <laughs> I'm going to make you immediately after this just do that. And I'm gonna Jacques create, Pepin. I'm going to write an electronic song that's just you with like all the dance like club music. Of you just saying that over and over again. <laughs> right? right? Just keep yes. repeating. <laughs> like, Jacques like, Pepin. Jacques like Pepin. Early 90s gay club dance music. Oh, yes, no, that, that'll that bring back horrible memories. So um, <laughs> we're not doing that. Jamie's playing a new song I'm sorry. Now. You can get this song uh, if you sign up to her Patreon. You can do it for as little as $3 a month. And we had it in the banner, but she quickly removed it because that's how she I'm rolls. Shy. Well, just put it up there if you want. Cause to us all he made it clear He liked for me to sit here at your table For other guests you poured the wine Got to me in your sweet time When you finally found me fit and able There you go If he were here he'd pour my drink Set it down before he'd even think to take a sip and to cure his own thirst. Well, to sit here with your smiles fake or stand outside with swallowed hate, well, I have not decided which is worse. Are you free?
is cause the spirit made it clear that love is not reserved just for our own kind well it travels over many shores through rivers canyons prison doors and i believe it travels all the time That there's a song. Oh, thanks, Goshe. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for your but your banner help. You're welcome. I'm learning. You're doing great. You're learning so much stuff. <laughs> I'm almost, I'm almost streamyard literate. Can I can I put a, ba a banner for you? Do you have any banner requests? Yeah. Um. Well, let's finish with that. Uh, that song Jamie has recorded in a studio, and she's got Eliza Gilkison singing uh, backup vocals on it, and it's available at her Patreon. And say that one more time, Patreon at Jamie Harris. Yeah, patreon.com slash Jamie Harris. I'll do it. And it has a theme song, even. Did oh, it has, she has a, you have a theme song? Yeah. I don't know any of this. I live in the same house. Well, I you got to become a patron. To <laughs> oh, I need to sign up, eh? It's like K-I-M-E. <laughs> Harris, just like Kimmy Lou. I'm here now, wait, well, here y'all, and I'm singing to you. It's the folk and roll fan club. <laughs> Harris, just like Kimmy Lou. Yeah, I just, I, um, yeah. You have, you have to I see, I've got it. a video with me doing some very, very, very Baptist raised dance moves on there. It's just a lot of arms <laughs> like, and no, no knowledge of my, how my body actually works. It's like, pretty funny. So uh, if, fun. if you want to see the silly side of me, that's where I am. I'll, I'll uh... yeah. it's catchy though, right? It's J fantastic. I am e. Harris, just like Because I just, just want to bring Amy Lou Harris into everything that I possibly can. Don't we all? Don't we all? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I'm apparently well, I'm gonna... very up. Uh, have a lot of energy. Almost. Now that you're happy, I'll play a sad song. Great, perfect. Um, <laughs> uh, this one, uh, I debuted it today at the uh, a class. We we're teaching songwriting online, working with uh, a group of songwriters that have fallen in love with every single one of them. They're so yeah. brave. Uh, we got students uh, in in Sweden, in Australia, several in Canada. In the Netherlands. Uh, we've got a, a Dutch songwriter. Uh, Virgin and, Islands. Uh, we've got a songwriter on a boat in the Virgin Islands uh, and people all over this big bad country of ours in the United States of America. And they're singing and playing songs in front of a group of people that they've never met on Zoom. And uh, they're brave and we're working together to uh, to talk about songwriting. And so, One of them's here, Lisa. Lisa Barbie's here. Hey, Lisa Barbie. Um, and so uh, they asked me if I'd play this new song that I've, I've been working on since we started working on the class. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. And I guess this is as good a time as any to say we've added two more songwriting uh, workshops onto my schedule the first two Saturdays of October. So I'll do two more, and, and then I think we'll take a break with the workshops for a while. And we're thinking about uh, maybe uh, just taking a little drive, going going south. We're, we're in the south in Nashville, but you can still go further south, and I think we want to get in the car and maybe do that and go to the, uh, the Gulf Coast, I think, uh, try to figure out a way to do that safely in the in the era of COVID probably surging by, by mid-October here in the States. And this is a Gulf Coast song. It's about Mississippi, and it was inspired uh, by my friend Odie Lindsay who wrote this book. It's called Some Go Home, if you can see it, Some Go Home. Odie's a, a veteran himself, and he's a writing teacher at Vanderbilt. And uh, uh, his book uh, uh, is absolutely gorgeous, and uh, it's an expansion of one of his short stories from his first collection of short stories. So uh, long story short, this song came from uh, a character in that book, but uh, uh, it's also, of course, me. Me, but not me, and only the way a song can be. Uh, so uh, let me see if I can remember how it goes. Highway mighty westbound In the falling dark Rolling past cornfields 
catfish farms and swamps A Pascagoula sunset A longing breaking through Don't know why I'm always leaving Don't know why I left you Won't you meet me in the meadow We can look up at the stars Lean into the wind Dream again Maybe find out who we are Won't you meet me in the middle? No more alone. We can lay down in the grass till the feelings pass, then go home. so much to tell you I'm ready to come clean I'm so tired of running from things I cannot leave you and me and Mississippi Battered, beautiful, and scarred In need of forgiveness And the awful grace of God Won't you meet me in the meadow We can look up at the stars Lean into the wind Dream again Find out who we are Won't you meet me in the meadow No more alone We can lay down in the grass Till the feelings pass Then go home Let's lay down in the grass Till the feelings pass Then go home It's so nice to have new songs. It feels like Christmas. Oh yeah, God's grace can definitely be um, characterized as awful because grace comes after suffering. <laughs> <laughs> 
and the suffering that leads to the situation of surrender uh, is uh, something I got from a Robert Kennedy speech, actually. Mm. And uh, it's a gorgeous... Uh, uh, I didn't it, know that. That came from a Robert Kennedy speech? Is that from the one that... Yeah, it's from... The uh, one when... The, the, when he was in Indiana? Yeah, Whoa. yeah. It's the speech he gave the day that Dr. King was assassinated. And he pulled the quote from an ancient, uh, uh, ancient Greek uh, poet. And the quote is this. He who learns must suffer. And even in our sleep, pain that cannot forget falls drop by drop upon the heart and in our own despair, against our own will, comes wis wisdom to us through the awful grace Whoa. of God. I thought, Mary sent me, the, what was that? It was it John Meacham? Is that who it was that did this? Uh, he's got this, many podcasts, I guess, going, but that episode about Robert. It, yeah, it's, oh, gr it's great oh speeches God. in American history. And one of the things that I thought that was so interesting about, I listened to it twice. Like two and a half times, actually. But I, I would like to listen to it again. But I thought it was interesting when he talked about how Robert F. Kennedy became fascinated with Greek tragedies because even in the Kennedy family, he saw himself as like this kind of underdog, misunderstood, never going to be the guy character. And he identified so strongly with those um, Greek That's tragedies. right. He saw himself as, I think, Ag Agamemnon. There was a character he identified with, but the Kennedy clan is definitely a, uh, a family from Greek tragedy, and uh, the story continues. The story continues. You know what I want to hear? Oh, okay. What, what are you going to play? I was going to play that new Texas song, because it kind of has that... Seasons? Uh, oh, no. No? But I could play Seasons if you want me to. I've been singing that all day. Okay, that's what I'll play. I'll totally play that. Thank you for the request. I wrote the song with my good friend, Graham Weber. Just so y'all know. Well, springtime came cold. I began falling, falling straight for you. In the midst of April showers, lying in the wildflowers, I felt your blue heart bloom. Guess I knew then that I loved you. Guess it now that I still do. If there ever come a change for what you feel, tell me, darling, I'll be true. Well, summer brought its heat. I stayed tangled in your sheets till it came time to sing we spoke from different cities you told me that you missed me in between your highway dreams guess i knew then that i loved you guessing now that i still do change for what you feel tell me darling I'll be true the autumn wind blew cold and the love that you once showed tumbled to the ground that night I asked you why you were too scared to try And the whole thing came unwell Even then I knew I loved you 
Yes, and now that I still do If there ever come a change for what you feel Tell me, darling, I'll be true On the concrete where we stood Your lips, they touched my skin It all came rushing in And I prayed to God you would Realize I always loved you Understand that I still do if there ever comes a time you want to warm your hand in mine, tell me, darling, I'll be true. Tell me, darling, I'll be true. Thanks yeah. for the request. Yeah, that's a real nice song. I Thank love that you. song. It's got that old uh, 1960s folk music sound yeah. to it yeah can y'all still see us it sounds somebody said they lost us i don't know thank you i'll see i don't know <laughs> it's mysterious out there i don't know can you kind of come sideways kind of yeah like where you want me like like a little down. i don't have spatial relations so you gotta help me yeah but i just want to i'm scared i'm gonna hurt your guitar well, with the neck of my guitar it's just that normally <laughs> we should be standing up that would be better you know what it, oh gosh oh hi i didn't mean to highlight my aunt's comment but thank you <laughs> yeah, hi so, aunt sarah yeah so uh let's see what we got here oh let's do this this one Um, let's see, uh, did the, uh, new songwriting workshop go up live? Is, is it? No. No, no, because I've been uploading the, uh, we're doing some back-end stuff. Oh, we haven't actually sent it live yet. No. We've got to send it to the website person first. Oh, I thought you said you did it. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I, That's all right. No, I, I misunderstood. Uploading, I was uploading all the, we're doing a whole new page for it. So I uploaded all the YouTubes and the, I did all that stuff. I don't even know how to talk about it, much less do it. <laughs> but I can teach it. I just can't make the technology part happen. And, and mostly it's because uh, I never took an interest in it. If I take an interest in something, I'll learn it. There's something that about, is true. Something about this just never really spoke to me. I don't know. I'm a word person, really. All right. Let this one here. Sorry, I want to be in tune for this song. Major in tune. We can't mute in tune on uh, on live streams. It's so frustrating. We usually, if we were on stage in your presence, we would mute and tune. But it's not possible to mute and tune in this current configuration. So we apologize for the... Uh, for the bam 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 part of the job requirement. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's no... I'm all the way over here now. I know. I'm so far <laughs> away now. Come back. Wait, no, it's okay. You just... I don't, just, I don't know. This I'll is the pole is here. the problem. I know. The pole is the problem. There's so many problems. We need to just... We need to restart. We need to blow it up we and start, start over. We gotta start over.
Crescent City disappearing in the rear view mirror Just like she's always done Spend my life running from the ghost of the VUCA ring And that dirty spillway water in the noonday sun Daughters of charity left their mark on me Keeping secrets, well, it just makes you feel alone Magazine Street stole from me I never thought I'd find my way home I thank God for you Thank God for you Wake up in the morning I thank God for you I thank God for you Thank God for you Wake up in the morning I thank God for you Play it, Jamie Jonesing on a Greyhound bus With a 20-year ticket To a tortured mind Sirens, sorrow, cigarette butts My Jesus in pieces Broken as a highway line Thank God for you Thank God for you Wake up in the morning, honey I thank God for you Thank God for you Thank God for you Wake up in the morning I thank God for you You gave me something no one can take away You saw right through me And loved me anyway mm -hmm. Thank God for you Thank God for you Wake up in the morning I thank God for you Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning. I thank God for you. Jamie did not know how to play lead guitar at the beginning of this pandemic, and she's learned those moves since April. It's incredible how uh, your fingers are moving up and down the neck like that. It's really astonishing that you're able to do that in a few short months blows my mind, and uh, it's really impressive. I remember when you were working out that lead and you just learned it note by note by note, playing it over and over and over and over and over, and it was something that you had to get into your muscle memory, but you did it. 
that and when we remember the David Olney song, actually when we're in New Orleans and I was like, nope, it was like David Olney had passed and we we're like, we are going to play this David Olney song. And I was like, and I'm going to do it the, to the best of my ability. I'm going to give it 110%. Sorry for anyone that sometimes some people are don't like it when people are fast and loose with math, but 100%. I gave it 100%, you know, and I just remember over and over and over again sitting in that kitchen because it was just like I felt the same way about what I can't remember if it's a part that Peter Case plays on the piano when you guys have done that together or if that's it's Peter's piano his part. Piano, but playing. you figured it out on guitar. I just, and I that's just just love. pretty impressive. Why don't we Thank play you. that only song? Why don't we do that? Oh yeah, I would love that. Yeah, David was a friend of ours, and David uh, was uh, many, many times a guest at uh, my songwriting workshops here in Nashville. Um, I so loved him, and his songs were, uh, I think, uh, some of the finest songs uh, I've ever heard. He was a master, master songwriter, and I'd have him come to the class and talk when he was in town and I was teaching. Um, and he was on stage at the 38th Songwriter Festival in January, um, and he had a heart attack on stage, and he passed. Guitar his hand, he didn't even drop it, and uh, his spirit w was gone, and um, uh, quite the death for a poet. Uh, and uh, and then after uh, that festival in January, we went pretty much straight to New Orleans. We did, yeah. And we had a little house. Some friends of ours in New Orleans have a little house next to their house, where the mama used to live, and uh, Michelle, Michelle and Glenn let us stay over there, and we're in the little Cajun kitchen. Uh, across uh, across from uh, uh, where all those where's that street where all the yeah the, where that really cool club is uh, I mean is that uh, Frenchman Street Frenchman street? street right across like two streets from Frenchman Street someone is asking about Bucare what, what the Bucare means? means French Quarter and uh, so uh, yeah we're off near Frenchman Street in that little Cajun shack and uh, in the Cajun kitchen with the Cajun coffee. And learning this David Only song. Right after he passed, we knew we had to play it. We were in, the, in New Orleans for a music conference, the Folk Alliance Conference. And we played this every time we played at that conference, which was a lot of times, we played this, this song to, to, keep, uh, to, keep, to keep everyone, uh, they already were thinking about David because he was supposed to be there and they were going to premiere a record and everything, but they didn't get a chance. I haven't played this in a long time. Let's start. Oh, it's probably too fast. Okay, why don't you give me that tempo? That's it. I feel it. You have to feel it for sure. That's it. And this song was recorded as a duet with Emmy Lou Harris and the great. Linda Ronstadt. What else do you need to know about David Olney as a songwriter? Two of the finest voices of all time on this David Olney song. We're going to give it our best shot here. Oh, the women cross the river carry water from the well at break of day. And they talk to one another. God only knows what they might say. You might get an education after years of dedication, you might finally get a glimpse of what is right and what is wrong. But the women cross the river, well, they knew that all along. Oh, the women cross the river work with tools that are ancient and handmade. And they plow their feet. 
fields in perfect rows and then they rest beneath the shade and we have learned to build out of concrete out of steel and our buildings last a thousand years and then even they're bound to fall but the women cross the river never learn to build I love to hear them laughing in the rain when it makes that perfect sound. Now a soldier with a gun and a battle to be won might kill you with a bullet and you never know the reason why but the women cross the river they can kill you with their eyes oh the women cross the river they can kill you with their eyes. Oh man, that solo, you just, you just blow my mind with that solo. That's so good. So good. You got some Willie Nelson in there too. <laughs> A little bit of Willie Lick going on. A little bit, for sure. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's like... Yeah, yeah man. You know, <laughs> Texas. We Texas. we have our Willie picture. That's my it's my bragging poster back there. It's uh, me opening for Willie. In, uh, in the United Kingdom, I got to open a tour for Willie Nelson and get on stage every night with him for the gospel finale, which could last up to a half an hour or more. Really? It will go on and oh on God. and on and on. Well, that's where I'm going to be up rocking by and by, Lord, by and by. There's better world waiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. I was walking with my... The timing is impossible. It's impossible. Absolutely impossible. It, it, it was so impossible for me that I told the engineer to turn off my mic, and I was acting like I was singing. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. That's, I understand. Yeah, the, understand. the timing was, he I've was had, so far behind the beat, he was ahead of the beat. I've had some, I mean, not Willie Nelson moments like that, but moments on stage where it's like, 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 oh, don't worry, you'll pick up on it super quick. And normally I can, uh -uh. but I'm like, 
what are, why, no. Or one of my favorite moments, this is bad, but one of my favorite moments on stage was um, we were at uh, Moody Theater. This is where they film Austin City Limits now. It is a giant theater. It's beautiful. You know, it's like this huge deal. And we're all on stage. It was me and my friend Jane Ellen Bryant, who is an awesome songwriter and was my roommate for a while. Do you know the story? You know the story? About I do know the story. I wrote, and it was, um, was that, you know, Sam, bring it all home to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, except, so we were kind of told, like, there's going to be a finale. And I'm like, oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yes, that's fine, you know? Well, it was like unrecognizable. Like, the way it was done, I was like, I don't, I don't know where, it, where it's coming from. And I guess Jane would supposed to sing a verse or something but it never Somebody got communicated her. to her so she so in this giant theater the guy that's leading the thing hands her the microphone and jane was like i had no idea what to yeah. do so she just started going like ah! like just like <laughs> singing like scatting and stuff and our friend rebecca Loby walked over to her afterwards and said this is the nightmare that we've all had and you just lived it in front of all of us and we were just laughing somewhere it's like what a you know that's kind of, that's kind of stuff always happens to Jane but the best is when you're just like I you can stand enough far away from the microphone where it's like no but you know how about Billy Bragg's version of this land is your land in C remember it's supposed to be in G he kicked it off in C and he did it in, in a <gasps> and it was impossible it was super it high. was impossible to sing you had I to be a soprano to sing it yeah I forgot about that I do remember singing. it happened uh, at the uh, Cadogan Hall too. Ethan Johns, two, three, four, bang, and C. Like, oh. Oh, because it's the four, it starts on the. So, you know, it's actually in G, you know, but if you do in C, you go. This land is I mean, this yeah. is like a different, you know, but that is, you're right, that has happened twice. Finales are, ter for anyone that doesn't know, the f finales are terrifying. You know what my friend Rodney Krause says? What is he said? What did he say? Don't do finales. Don't do finales. <laughs> Play a song, Jamie Harris. Okay. Can I play that? Is that cool? You play oh, whatever like you play want. I think I want to play this. Oh my gosh, this aunt. Can I talk about this comment from the story of my life? Jamie's dad stopped a song in the middle and asked me to stop clapping because it was <laughs> throwing him off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I try being that. in a band with him. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He was try great. being raised by him. Yeah, try. No, <laughs> it was great. It was great. Have you ever seen the sunset? Fingers fly on the buttons 
bar in there. The big Emmy Lou <laughs> at the end. Anytime she's gonna do something, you know. Like I can't remember what song we were thinking of recently. I was like, oh. That's her ending oh, every time. Stand tall. There was another David Olney song, you know. Um, stand tall. Yep, yeah. Stand tall. I was like, if Emmy Lou did it, she goes, stand tall. tall. <laughs> That's her ending. Yeah. I'm for it though. I'm, I'm for everything. I'm for everything, Emmy Lou. Emmy Lou. She was very kind. She gave me a nice quote for my book. We're gonna, it's going to be on the back of the book. She gave me a wonderful quote. Thank you, Emmy. So grateful for that. Ow. Oh. I'm trying to figure it out. Will you figure it out? Okay, capo five D uh -huh. C shape. Oh, exactly. There it is. See, these are new songs, so we're we're still trying to. I'm still trying to figure it out. Something was clicking during that song. I think your pick was hitting the pick. Oh, bar. was it? Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah. Also, I got a loose. I got to figure it out. I got a loose um, something in here, and if I'm on a certain fret, it's kind of it's clicking. I got, but I, I think it was the pick guard. Hitting. It might have been me hitting this, my sign. Have been that That's too. what it was. I'm yeah. sorry. You don't have to just... be sorry. I just want you to know that it was clicking. Wow. And if you were on a uh, stage with a real amplification, it would have been. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I just want you to know that that was it's happening. A thing. All right, here we go. Everybody's asking for that song, I Ain't Leaving, that I wrote with my friend Travis Meadows, who we actually have booked on our Sunday show. Uh, coming up in October, Travis will be with us, and I will learn it. I haven't played it uh, since we wrote it. I haven't played it uh, because he he's a really good guitar player, and and he was playing the guitar, and I was sitting in the room and contributing words, and you know, broken on the inside. It's what I used to say. I got the song. I don't have the bridge. It's a descending chord situation that I can't play. But I'll ask him at sound check. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, we'll play it on that show. We'll figure it out. I have to learn it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I should figure it out. Yeah, the bridge is the hard part for me. Bridge. But I, I, you know, Travis knows it. He wrote it. <laughs> I, I gave I, I'm throwing words at it while he's got his hands going on the guitar. So um, sorry I can't play it for you tonight, everybody. Uh, who's asking? I really appreciate you asking. I just honestly don't know it. I mean, I know it, but I don't know the bridge, so that's the, the thing that I can't... Okay, here we go. May eternity hold you In the hollow of her hand May a soft wind enfold you as you travel distant lands. May the moon and stars delight you as the daylight dims till the morning sun warms your face till I see you again May you lay down your struggle beneath a silver sky May a summer rain inside your dreams whisper lullabies. May there be no more sorrow, no more pain. May you sleep inside the stillness of the night till I see you again.
May you never be a stranger May you never feel alone May you reunite with family and friends May they walk you home May love embrace you In a dance that never ends May you rest in gentle arms Till I see you again May you rest I see you again Wow, that guitar part. Nice. I love Thank that. you. I think it's just an octave. Yeah, well that octave's working. Work, where it works? Yeah, it's working. Good, yes. Sam's. You want me to play Sam's? Would you? Sure. Yeah, I'll do anything you want me to do for you. Dim the lights. We're going to go to Sam's. Dim the lights. This is like, We're I'm going having, to I'm getting so much energy playing on these new songs. I feel like charged, I'm, like I'm recharged. I'm excited, too, to have new songs. Oh my gosh, I went like two years without, almost two years without writing a song, you know? It was like, well, I was like. Well, it's because we went town to town to town. We did, we did 164 shows uh, in 2018. And we were on track to do that many in 2019. Uh, and, uh, and you mean 20? In 20? 2019, what? yeah. And then 20, we're in the, on track to do that in 2020 uh, when uh, we got shut down in March. Yeah, we, we were doing so many shows. You couldn't write songs going too fast through time and space. Uh, yeah. I just, I can't, I still can't believe it was like two years of that, you know. And it was like everything in my life changed so fast. I went from working a full-time job and like living in Austin and doing everything I was doing there to like. Being a rock star. Be, no, man, I don't know if that's true, but you know, being on the road full-time and moving to Nashville and like. Yeah, y'all may not know this, but she was working at a medical office and um, when we met. Mm hmm uh, she had been playing around Austin and stuff, but she certainly wasn't troubadouring. Uh, and uh, we met, and a year later, she's living in Nashville. I'm like, let's go. I put her on tour with me <laughs> in Europe, and I just threw her out in front of Dutch audiences in large theaters by oh, herself right, without yeah. a band. And she had played with her band in Austin for years. Uh, and she, I just, let's go, do it. And she was like, I don't know how to do this without a band. And... It was absolutely incredible to watch you find your sea legs, but it was terrifying. And but look at you, you, you did it. I feel a lot stronger now, and I'm really glad that I did that. I there's did no that. way to do that in your living room. The only no. way to do it is to do it. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't even like you know. I think a lot of songwriters even start out and they they start out solo alone. Because I was talking to my friends about it. I'm like, have you guys experienced that? And they're like. No, it's well, the other way. People said, start out solo and I end up with a band. Out a I started out solo, but I was in duos. For I mean, I played in a duo with my dad. I was in a duo with David. I was in a trio with Five and Dot. So I was always in like trios or duos. And then I, I had a band that started out as a four-piece, and it grew into a seven-piece band. You know, so. Which is nice and fun, and isn't it great? <laughs> but you can't go to Europe with that. If no. you want to survive as someone who actually eats and sleeps in a bed. So, yeah. yeah, so solo it was, and you did great. Thank you. You got stronger every night. Good to see you, oh my friend. I've been hiding out again. I had this feeling you would understand. Spending too much time alone, and for the moment, I'll 
I'll start feeling good again. Go on down the sands. I don't remember. Can't begin. Is that how we met? Sam don't run the place no more and They got rock stars living in the back You and I, I guess that we don't think too much on that We just talk out by the fire And every once in a while I'll light a cigarette Even though I know you hate it just like our friend that died, or is he really gone, or in the wind, I think I'm spinning out again. Pretty soon you'll head north and so will I We'll say goodbye in the return When the leaves have changed their color Tell the stories of the loves that fell apart Out on the road If we had better sense we would just join our hearts Have we ever Back when the place was still a biker bar, I'd come up late and put them down, cause not a soul I ever knew was hanging around. No one cared if I drove off into the night to greet the flashing lights. They tied me up, put me back inside. I remember, can't forget, is that how we met? Well, it seems it's finally happened Like I knew it would in good time My friend, I know I've finally lost my mind Spending too much time alone And for a moment I'll start feeling good again Go on down the same such a good song thank you it's so cool there's some uh, people on the stream that used to see me when i played at strange brew and they, mary if you don't know that they um scrappy judd newcomb who's a producer and guitar player and songwriter down there he's a you might if you're a slade cleaves fan you might have seen him playing with slade cleaves he played with ian mcclagan for a long time 
uh, Scrappy is just a wonderful, wonderful person. And I would, oh, thank, oh, great. I would um, come up in a, you know, Sunday morning at like gospel brunch, and I would show up in sometimes my King of the Hill boxers or just, ran, you know, pajamas because I would like, I was like, I just want to get there. And so I was so excited to get there and hear the music and see who was going to be a guest. I mean, that's how I met Ray Bonneville and eventually like Jimmy LaFave. I mean, it was like all kind of at that club at Strange Brew. And because I kept coming in pajamas, they started calling me Jimmy Jams Jr. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck for you know, still Jimmy, call me. Jimmy Jams Jimmy ain't going Jams anywhere. Jr., yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the folklore at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So good seeing you guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, we'll play one more, I think. We call it a night. It's what? 10 30, well, I guess we have a show tomorrow. We have a show tomorrow, and, <laughs> and uh, we have the great Jimmy Dale Gilmore with us tomorrow, two o'clock Central Time, right here. And uh, we did a sound check with him this afternoon. He's sounding great, looking great, and uh, can't uh, get over how much I love that man's voice. Oh, wow, he's my such gosh. a he's such a uh, incredible uh, artist, and I love we're him. excited to have him on on our live stream tomorrow, so. Um, and he's funny as hell. He's so funny, so fast, so witty. He's very quick. And, I can't wait uh, to hear what you guys end up talking about tomorrow. It'll be great. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna talk to him about, but uh, he's very chill. He doesn't intimidate me. He's he's truly like um, a gentle soul, pe peaceful man. And so I'm not nervous around him at all. And uh, I feel uh, as though we could talk about anything. We'll probably end up talking about politics because we see things the same way. So thank y'all for hopping in, and we appreciate the tips. Uh, they help us uh, uh, go to Trader Joe's and get all the things we need for red beans and rice and uh, gumbo and the stuff that I've been making. Um, and uh, we appreciate that, paying for our food, literally. And uh, that's mighty nice of y'all. Uh, so we'll be back tomorrow, too, but for now I'm going to leave uh, with a, a love song, another love song. Uh, and uh, check out Jamie's Patreon. It's, uh, it's a beautiful site that she's built. She's put uh, 100 million <laughs> hours into it. Uh, so uh, check it out. It's well built, well designed, and uh, she really, really put thought into it and care. Uh, and consequently, it shows, and it's beautiful. And you can get on the surface there. It streams, right? Or they can download yeah, it. They or... can download it or they can stream it there. And, yeah, with Eliza uh, singing backup fully produced. It's a gorgeous track. Uh, you made it at uh, a Congress House in Austin with uh, Mark Hallman. Mark Hallman. And Andre Moran. And your band, your favorite band. My band, my guys, with um, including yeah. Sammy Powell on the keys. He also, we also recorded a version of another song uh, that I played earlier tonight. Gosh, his piano playing is beautiful yeah so beautiful, beautiful. check it out so, check it out yeah it's a rocker that a version of that is like it gets rowdy it's awesome i love it yeah it's fun beautiful production i'll think about it. wow it sounds like i've been uh, screaming and yodeling and been in a bar and smoking and drinking and i've done nothing but grow okra and sit in this chair <laughs> it's my it's voice probably your michelle obama injury <laughs> yeah i got my i screamed for michelle obama once and lost my voice for a week i think about the joy inside your laughter I'll think about your hand inside mine. I'll think about the sweetness of your soft skin as I try. Not to think about time And I'll think about my arms 
wrapped all around you I'll think about the kindness in your eyes I'll think about how you showed up on my door still as I was trying not to think about time So many roads, so many towns between us, so many nights, so many stairs to climb. to think as I miss you and I try not to think about It's okay. I'm sorry. I'll think about your candlestick fingers on my skin. I'll think about the shiver in your side. Not to think about time. So many roads, so many towns between us. So many nights. the thing as I miss you and I try not to think about time I will try not to think about time. I wish sending all our love tonight to 
all the folks in the Pacific Northwest, in California, Utah, Nevada, Colorado, all the places where the fires are burning. Um, we're keeping our eye on that hurricane developing in the Gulf, uh, which is, uh, we're in hurricane season as well. There's so much going on over here. But tonight our hearts and prayers are with all of you in the West and the Northwest, Pacific Northwest, as you go through this incredibly difficult time. God bless y'all. Uh, mercy now and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 2 uh, Central Time with Jimmy Dale Gilmore right here in my writing room in Nashville Tennessee with the great Jamie Harris we'll see y'all soon namaste